Merhaba arkadaşlar. Welcome to the 8th recitation of Principle of Economics. In this problem set, we are dealing with the chapter 20 questions. But chapter 20 is a relatively short and easy chapter, so this will be a short recitation. But I will make an introduction to the chapter 20 first. So uh, let's start with the introduction part. In the first part of the Principle of Economics lessons, we were dealing with the microeconomics. And in microeconomics, we have a production function looks like this. We had only two labor, uh, two variables. The first variable is labor, and the second variable is capital. After uh, calculating this function, we will end up with some output, output of a firm. So uh, this was microeconomic production function. But since we are dealing with the macroeconomics now, we have a different production function, and uh, it has four variables the gdp means that the gdp is our output now because gdp means that gross domestic product it means that the uh, whole production of a country the whole output of a country so let's look at the variables the first variable is workforce workforce means that employed and unemployed people the number of employed and unemployed people the human capital means that the education and skill level of your workforce, the education level of your country. The third variable is physical capital. Physical capital is uh, basically means that machinery uh, and we can show it by K. And the last variable is technology. Technology means that productivity. In economics, when we talk about technology and an improvement in technology, we should understand that there is an uh, increased productivity no if our technology increases our productivity productivity increases so uh, that's all you should know and there is a mathematical formula that you should know in this chapter uh, for uh, calculating the future GDP you should uh, multiply your initial GDP with the growth rate over years so you have to know this formula and we will use it in the problem set. So let's look at the questions. The first question, let's start with the first question. Which of them is not a part of aggregate production function? Since we discussed before, human capital, technology and physical capital is included in the aggregate, aggregate production function. So the correct answer is D. Money supply is not included in the production function of macroeconomy. So let's move on with the second question. What does human capital mean? As we discussed before, human capital means that the uh, skill level and education level of your country. So correct answer is C. The accumulated skills and education of workers. Let's move on with the third question. After the industrial revolution, inequality increased between the nations. So what we should understand by that? Uh, after the industrial revolution, some countries take benefit of the industrial revolution like United Kingdom. Uh, their gross domestic product, their GDP and their output got skyrocketed and they become uh, developed countries. But some countries didn't uh, take benefit of this industrial revolution like uh, countries in Africa. But the question says that but some countries in the middle of 20th century showed us that catching up the developed countries is possible. Like uh, you are a country in Africa and uh, you can catch up with United Kingdom if your uh, uh, growth rates are higher than the United Kingdom's growth rates. So uh, the question says that which country below can be considered to have catch up with the developed countries? United Kingdom, United States and Germany are already developed countries in this uh, 20, before the 20th century. But in the 20th century, Japan catch up with other countries. So the correct answer is A. So let's continue with the fourth question. There are four countries given with their GDP growth rates between uh, 2010 and 2013, uh, 2010 and 2013. One of these countries is a developed country and other three, uh, other three countries are developing countries. Which one of them is likely to be a developed country? We should have known that uh, the developing countries are higher growth rates than the developed countries. So if we look at the table, 
uh, the only uh, country that has lower uh, growth rate is country C. So the correct answer is C. Let's move on with the fifth question. Assume that there is a hypothetical country named as United Otto Dormitories Kingdom. This country's initial GDP in 2020, 2020 is $1,000 and grows with an annual rate of 5%. So uh, the question asks that uh, what will happen to the uh, United Otto Dormitories Kingdom GDP after 20 years? We should use this formula. Uh, as we discussed in here, we should use this formula. If you put this formula in this question, we would end up with 2,653. The correct answer is D. So let's move on with the sixth question. What economics uh, economists mean by technological improvements? As we discussed before, technological improvements means Productivity, incre increase in productivity. So the correct answer is B. And in the last question, what is economic convergence? Economic convergence is that develop, uh, developing countries will catch up with the developed countries since their uh, growth rates are higher than the developed countries. So the correct answer is A. Countries with lower GDP levels per capita will catch up to countries with higher GDP levels per capita because their uh, growth rates are higher than the already developed countries. So this was the end of the recitation. Uh, if you have anything, uh, any questions related with the chapter today, you can always email us. These are the, our emails. So have a good day.